I love the heartwarming story surrounding the two main characters you can play as in Hokihu and Friends. The story is born out of the Fukushima disaster in 2011 and the pets that were abandoned and left behind. With the main character Hugh being named after Huga, one of the animals that was left in an animal shelter post the disaster. Porky Hugh and Friends is a side-scrolling shoot-em-up. You can choose to play as either Hugh or Figaro, Hugh being the regular difficulty and Figaro being the easier difficulty. The gameplay is very simple. You have a single firing button and a somersault manoeuvre that you can perform. This somersault manoeuvre makes you invincible for a short period and also brings the chips to collect closer to you. The blue gauge indicates if you can do a somersault. The yellow gauge shows if you can recover from a crash. To activate this, as you are falling you must quickly toggle the left stick back and forth whilst pressing random buttons in hopes of recovering. I found it hard to do, but it can save you from an unnecessary death once you get the hang of it. In each level you will find a dog named Howard who drops random bonuses to aid you in the playthrough. He also runs a shop in the form of an airship in which you can board and purchase upgrades to your weapons or things like extra lives and shields. Using cube fragments for purchases, the only limit you have is the amount of cube fragments you have saved up and not being able to have more than one type of equipment active at each time. For example, you can only have one type of missile and one type of bomb. In each level there are balloons that you can pass over that increase your score by a thousand points and also blue cube fragments that drop which is the in-game currency. These fragments are also used to purchase things in the town building portion of the game. This town building portion of the game is called Etade. You can use cube fragments game during each level to rebuild the town. As you do so you open up different things like shops as more animal friends come to the town. These shops can help you adjust features such as your default shop type through to unlocking new weapon types. There is also a gallery that can be unlocked. I enjoyed this part of the game and it is also helpful for those that may be struggling to complete some levels as you can grind a little in the previous stages to upgrade your abilities making the game overall more accessible to casual players. If you are chasing that high score you will want to complete all levels in a single run However, if you are looking to make it a little easier, you can adjust the number of lives you have before you get a game over. And you can also adjust the difficulty from easy to very hard. So if you're finding normal too easy, you can go into those option settings and increase the difficulty even more. Lastly, you can also remap the firing buttons to suit your preferred playstyle, which is a really nice addition. Overall, the music is upbeat and uplifting with several catchy tracks that play as you go through the levels. The sound effects also add a nice touch and only enhance the overall atmosphere. I think the art style in Horgy Hue and Friends is fantastic. There are a number of different enemy types, each with a distinct look, and all the bosses felt unique in both presentation and mechanics. I did find that by design some of the traps were a little crafty and often would crash my ship due to the environment rather than the enemies. It was unclear whether some things you could run into and other things you couldn't. Another thing I would have liked to see is a health bar for the boss battles as the visual cue for if you are hitting and damaging the boss is a little small. For example, the second boss only hitting one small section on its head actually causes damage. This means you could endlessly hit the rest of the body and not progress. If you enjoy side scrollers and this cute art style, then I would 100% recommend Horgy Hue and Friends. There is enough customization that you can make the game as challenging as you want. However, one thing to note is you'll have to re input your settings every time you boot up the game. Despite this, Horgy Hue and Friends is a wonderful cue them up that will please many fans of this genre. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.